All right, so here we are in the first part of lesson two, taking a look at our, our driving base and understanding that it is a, a modular robotic platform. Kind of like what you see right here in this picture, there is a picture of a robot, a, a machine, that has all sorts of sensors, and they look just like ultrasonic sensors where it looks like this, or what you would see in many other robotic kits, or maybe you've seen the ultrasonic that looks like this that you can find with like Arduino and Raspberry Pi, lots of other robotic kits that are not non-Lego. Actually, this looks pretty similar to what you see in your software on that red robot there. What we want to take a look at and think about is how important sensors are to the world around us. The, the Internet of Things, how many things around your house have sensors built in. They may not necessarily be ultrasonic, but there are sensors detecting all sorts of things, whether that's sound um, or objects like Alexa, which can even now detect voice, um, our refrigerator, potentially, when it's no longer dark or the door opens and closes, it turns on and turns off, the light, how does that work? You know, ring doorbells detect motion and movement, and then there's a camera, um, just lots of things. Look at warehouse robots that are all about moving and logistics and obstacles. This is what's really exciting is that with this kit, we can start to explore that and we can explore the concept of the world around us and how dependent we have become around technology such as sensors and inputs and outputs and, and writing code that when something is detected, something else could happen. There are thousands of examples and that's what's so great about this lesson is how applicable it is to the world around us. Our real world connections, you, your life, is impacted by sensors all the time. So what I want you to do here in the very beginning is I want you to think about the question that's in this lesson here that's asking, do you know of any robots that can detect objects? And I would love to hear from you. What are robots? And maybe even expanding your idea of the concept of robot. A robot doesn't always have to be on wheels. It doesn't have to look like a humanoid. They can, but there's lots of machines slash robots slash piece of technology that can detect objects. So in the Slack channel, I would love to have this conversation. I'm going to find this to be so insightful and intriguing as we start to come together in this class to talk about that. Share some links, some images, things that you've seen recently. Do just a quick Google search. And let's find out all the different ways in which sensors impact the world around us. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and move on to step number two, which we're going to start to build out our robot to have our ultrasonic sensor wired up to be able to do some, some work and some learning and some challenges. But for now, let's build that real-world connection by sharing some stuff in the Slack and starting to engage in some conversation with our colleagues. All right, my friends. As always, stay awesome. Peace.